everybody. everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my Appalachian life. Welcome I, to my world. <laughs> I'm Joanna, and this is my husband, Joe. This is what's left of him. <laughs> and today we're going to film Joe making his famous cornbread. Everyone loves his cornbread. And he, Especially me. <laughs> he takes it once a month to a men's potluck that he goes to, and that's what they ask for him to take. Always bring that. Always bring the cornbread. And um, so we've given recipes to people to make it, but they come back and say, it just doesn't turn out like Joe's. I need to know what he does. So we're going to show you what Joe does today. I'll be a witness. <laughs> oh, you're a participant. You're not a witness. <laughs> you are the star of the show the today. The show. A star is born. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get ready to get with it. Howdy, folks. I'm back. In spite of all the shenanigans that have been pulled here to entice me to take on this endeavor making some pone, a pone of cornbread for a bunch of guys and uh, who like it a lot. So anyway, we're here, we're going to start it, and it's every man and every woman for themselves. So the first thing you do is turn your oven on to what? Turn the oven on, on bake. What temperature? At 450. Okay. And then there's your pan. What kind of pan there's do you? Yep. Yeah. What kind of pan do you use? This pan has been passed down through my family for probably at least 75 years, maybe even 100. And everybody will say that's a cast iron pan. It has that look to it, but it's not cast iron. Let me get a close up on it's that. A thin metal. It's a thin metal pan. It's not a cast iron skillet. It's about 10 inches in, in diameter, and like I say, it's had a lot of use, and there's been a lot of cooking done in it. 75 uh, years? Yeah, at least. Yeah. And you never wash it? Well, it has been washed, but it's rare. It, but you take heat, the heat will actually fix it or it will come out as you, as you want it to. All right, anyway. What we need now is put some oil in there. Canola oil is what we'd like to use. So I'll put this down here and get the canola oil out. It's about a tablespoon or two. but it'll be a short race. Alright. Okay, we're on bake. We're on 450. There it is in the top. So you preheat your preheat. skillet yeah. as while the oven's preheating. Right. So okay. it'll take up maybe five minutes or something. We'll have it going here three to five minutes. We'll have it by baking by that time. Okay. Uh, and then your ingredients, what do you use? Okay. There's one thing you got to have. All this is essential, but as you can see, that's Tenda Bake. It's the brand name, Tenda Bake. It's Yala Self-Rising Cornmeal Mix. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, and then... And then uh, what we got over here is buttermilk. It's whole buttermilk. And that's an, um, another must. You gotta have that. Then, uh, of course, this con this container up here holds the tender bake in it. This is just a you stir it up in there and make, then you make your uh, batter batter as, as, as you want. And so there, there we go. Uh, we'll start the process. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get some 
meal out of here. You can see the meal. Yeah, we just store it in that Tupperware lock container yeah. in the refrigerator. And there it should be. And Joe doesn't use an actual measuring cup. Show him the cup you're using there. It's just a corningware coffee cup. Coffee cup in it. Open handle. And and it's about a one cup measurement. So he did one scoop there. Do you feel it full, honey? Or yeah. Feel it full. Well, no, no, just two, two will take care of it. Right, two cups. Okay. Yeah. So there we go with that. Okay. Now, this over here. Just stir that cornmeal mix up a little bit to yeah, break up any lumps. Just break up any lumps or anything like that. That's all it is to it. Now, let's see, let's see what our temperature is doing over here. This light is still on. It's still preheating. So it's still preheating. It's still so, Joe doesn't up. like to add the buttermilk to actually make the batter until the skillet is fully preheated. The oven is preheated and it beeps to let him know that it's preheated. Right. And at that time, he adds the buttermilk. Exactly. Back. Okay, here we are. That is the meal right here. That is ground corn cornmeal. Some people call it maize. And it's got self-rising flour mixed in with it. It's corn and baking mixed. powder. Yeah. It's all, all already mixed but up. But all of that's in the bag of the tend to bake cornmeal mix. Yep. So all you've got in the bowl right now is two cups of the tend to bake cornmeal mix. And now we're going to put the corn, the buttermilk. We're going to shake it up just a little bit. Joe doesn't measure, but that's about how much? That's about a cup and a half. Maybe not that We're much. We're not done yet. Yeah, it's maybe not that much. See, it's getting real thick in there. So we're going to go back with a little more buttermilk. And you're gently stirring it, aren't you? Yeah. You don't beat it or anything. Just, no. Just stir it till it comes together and it's a certain consistency. And you can see there how it's blending in. So mm -hmm. is that the thickness you want it, or you want to? Have yeah, I'm gonna put a little water with it down. Okay, sh show. Pull your spoon up and let it pull, drop off the spoon, so people can see about how thick it is. Let's get a big lump of it here and see how it just drops off the spoon like that. Okay. Okay, let's get it down here a little bit more. Okay, now we need some water. Okay. 
So you're going to go to the sink. The key here is that you put a little bit of water here. Not much. It's only about a tablespoonful, probably. So I'll be coming over here on the sink. Give it a full spot. That's about all it takes. It's essential that you do that. And then you just stir it again to mix the water up. Right, exactly. Thins it down. Having that water is very important. It's looking pretty smooth right now. Okay, now let's get the pan out. And the pan's good and hot now. The oven's preheated at 450, and the pan's been in there the whole time. Uh, turns into pure li liquid is what you got. Uh, oil, canola oil. And here's the canola oil that we used. Right. Okay. So now you're going to pour the batter in that hot skillet. Right. Here we go. Sort of reminds me of ice cream. We've got the soup in the pot in the back of the stove. It's just been simmering for maybe a couple of hours. And it smells so good, so Joe's decided he's ready to eat. But he needs cornbread. i got to have cornbread. You can with cornbread, you can't not lose. You'll win every time. See there? Where's Getting it all finished up. And it sizzled when that batter hit the skillet. I don't know if y'all could hear that or not when he poured it in there and heard it sizzle in that hot grease. And if you can see it bubbling in there. Now, what I gotta do is take my mitt, get a hold of this thing, kind of shake it down. We'll get the oil all around it. And I'm shaking it up. So now we are still kind of just checking everything out. We're baking position. 450. Watch out you dragging you. There you go. 450. And it's on bake. It's preheated and it's ready to go in. I'm going to put it in right here. And it bakes for how long? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, I'm going to hit the button here. Timer. There we go, my friends. Welcome aboard. Lovely. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful golden brown. Golden, golden. Now he's going to flip it on the plate. Comes out so easy. It never stays in there, any portion of it. That, this skillet will not... It's... it's, it's just a great, 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 great piece of bread. Smell that. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yeah. Yum, yum. And it's crispy on the outside. Both sides. That's why having that water go in there 
is essential. Putting that little bit of water in there, you know, has a sealing effect mm -hmm. on, the, on the entire bottom and top. Okay. Well, let's fix the bowl of soup to go with it, and we'll do a taste test. Okay, I'll go ahead and turn this oven off. Okay. Okay, folks, here we go again. We've got our bread here on the table. Uh, the island, it's actually called. And what you do is you take your a big knife, of any sort really, as long as it's powerful enough to do the job. As you can see, that takes care of that. We cut half of it there. We'll turn, come around here. Cut another one. Did you hear the crunch when the knife went through it? And then I'll get one more here. Get another one. And one more. So we're ready. We'll keep leaving it just like that. Okay, it's taste test time for Joe. You guys are looking forward to it. But quickly we'll turn this around. Take a piece of bread out just like that. Lay it on the paper towel. And then we'll be ready prepared to eat more of it as we go. And I'll go ahead and open it up, this piece. You like lots of butter, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's very good for you. Okay. Put that on top of it. I've never seen you do that before. Well, we're just going to let it melt it down in there quicker. Mm -hmm. so. And we're having vegetable beef soup with the cornbread tonight. I made that earlier today and made a video of that. So if you want to see how I made the soup, um, I'll try to link it below for you. Congratulations, my dear. You did an excellent job. Oh, when are you going to taste it? I'm going to taste it in about another minute or so. Well, as long as I can get some butter on it. How long have you been making this cornbread? Uh, I've been making this cornbread about, I'd say, uh, 15 years. How did you learn to make it? Well, I don't really recall who, who somebody put me onto that or, or I just... Was it your mother? I, I just don't know for sure. I, I mean, I saw her make, make bread and everything over the uh, ages, but uh, no, I'm not really sure. But I know it's good. It's I know you've been making it longer than 15 years because we've been married how many years? Not long enough. <laughs> 22 years, and you've been making it ever since I've known you, which was two years before that, so that's 24 years. Well, it's like I say, you can just go for with what you got and be thankful for it, is what I say. <laughs> Here we go. That's good. Let me hear that crunch. <laughs> good crunchy cornbread. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you try the soup? Take take a small bite because it's pretty hot too. He's stuck on the cornbread. Just hang on there. <laughs> you sound like the horse is chomping on their feed.
It is delicious, guys. It is out of this world. I'm, I'm not a cornbread fan, except for when it first comes out of the oven like this, and I love it. And if I ate some of it now, I don't know how many pieces I would end up eating. But I don't like it after it's set a while. But Joe keeps it, and he eats milk and cornbread with the leftover cornbread. He doesn't let any go to waste. That's exactly right. Well said, my dear. Okay, what about the soup? Mm. Okay, he put a little bit of cornbread in his soup bowl. That's the way he likes to eat his soup. Exactly. He just can't get away from the cornbread. I can't do it. And that's the way everybody is. When they eat his cornbread, they've got to have more. Give me more. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's going in for the soup now. You have to be careful because it's piping hot where it's been simmering. That is good. That soup is good. And can you look at me and tell me? How do you describe the soup? Soup is hot. Is it spicy? It's a little spicy. It's got a high temperature. And it's got everything you'd want in a piece of bread. <laughs> We're talking soup. Well, it's all going to come out anyway. Okay, guys, thanks for watching us. We appreciate it. And if you don't care, to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I uh, hope you try these recipes and let us know how they turned out for you. And we'll sign off now and say goodbye and God bless you all. Thank you.